Actually, I don't know about Get In on the Act. They pretty much started the whole thing with legends like their XR2 and XR3. And now they're hoping that their Focus ST170 will recapture those glory days of old and once again bring sporting motoring to you and I, the masses. Well, they're not off to the best of starts, because whereas the XR2 and XR3 were in their day to look at Larry, this is a bit sensible, really. But still, let's not judge a book by its cover. It generates 170 brake horsepower. The clue is in the name ST170, and it does that from a 2-litre Ford Duratec engine. Don't go thinking, though, that 170 brake means it leaps away, scrabbling at the tarmac like a mad thing, because it doesn't. It's more sort of progressive power. It is rapid, but that's about it. Mad quick, no. What does stand out particularly is the steering, and it's not something usually I'd bother praising, but it is so fluid, so quick reacting, so easy to use, so predictable and so communicative when you're pressing on. It really is superb. If the Ford Focus ST170 takes your fancy, you'll enjoy the 170 brake horsepower, bringing a top speed of 134 miles an hour within reach. 0 to 60 is done in 7.9 seconds. It is a 2 litre 16 valve engine, and again, that six speed gearbox. Insurance Group kind of splits the difference at 15. The way the whole car is set up, if you were to get this car onto a track, you start to remember just why the Ford Focus is praised for handling so well. If you really press on around the bends, as you apex, if you lift off the accelerator, you'll get glorious lift off oversteer, so the tail will come out and step around nicely, impressing your friends, because you are then lacking a little bit in power to straighten the whole thing out at the other side, so be a little bit careful and one for the track, definitely. Now, I don't know if hot hatch drivers are getting more sensible, but if this is anything to go by, then they are. It's the kind of hot hatch you wouldn't be afraid to take home to your mum, and that's not what we want at all. There could be a good reason for this, though, because Ford, probably at the end of this year, have their viciously fast Focus RS coming out, and maybe they didn't want to steal its thunder with this, the ST170. Either way, if you haven't seen yet the hot hatch of your dreams, here's a rundown of our further five alternatives. I know, I know, it is basically a Rover 25 in a gangster suit, but somehow it does the business. It's a sharp performer, the ride is hard but not harsh, there is a fair bit of road noise and the interior ain't fooling anyone, pure Rover 25. It comes fifth here simply because we wonder if it'll ever really overcome the pork pie hat and box of tissues velcroed to the parcel shelf image of its forebears. As the VW Golf GTI has travelled its path through countless incarnations, it's transformed from fiery, youthful inventor of the hot hatch phenomenon to, frankly, rather overweight 30-something. It's best now at all the least interesting things like security and practicality. The 1.8 GTI does manage at least to feel slightly sprightly, and what you can't knock is the VW build quality and reliability. It comes forth. 
The Audi S3 Quattro may be towards the entry level of the Audi range in terms of size, but not in performance. It oozes quality from every pore and has plenty of power, and the added advantage of Audi's legendary Quattro four-wheel drive. It may manage 0-60 to in 6.6 .6 seconds, but it's really not an out-and-out -out driver's machine, and it is a bit steep at 25 grand. In second place, the Peugeot 206 GTI. Good looking, spacious and quick too. It's grown bigger and fatter with age and lost that rawness that made the 205 GTI a defining hot hatch. At 13 and a half grand though, it's not overpriced and it must be good at something because it makes it to second. In first place though, a car to feature in a thousand teenage fantasies, the Renault Clio 172 Sport. If Dad had one of these, you'd have to cosh him to get the keys. It's as close as you can get to a modern day take on the original hot hatches. It looks great, the interior's cool, and it goes, well, like a really, really fast car. 